There's the, uh, by the way, the uh, Guy Ritchie is getting uh, $90 million from Madonna. And in my fucking opinion, certainly not enough. He deserved <laughs> a lot more money. But where are all the guys that are furious today that Guy Ritchie is getting money? Every time some guy has to hand over, some rich guy has to hand over money, every guy is furious. I don't see guys fucking angry today. But that's why she even took the masculine role to just settle on her terms and, and not let it even go to court. Well, sure. She, she was in charge of that relationship, and she was in charge of the divorce. Yeah. And let's face it. It's worth it to her to get this fucking no-talent fucking Quentin Tarantino wannabe <laughs> out of the fucking house. 90 mil is nothing to her. That's like you uh, uh, saying, uh, Dave, you have to give her some lint out of your pocket. <laughs> That's the same exact thing the 90 mil is to Madonna. It's nothing. And yet they focus on it on TV as if the rest of us can relate to these kind of numbers. So now that she gave away the English mansion and all that, is she going to drop the accent? Is she... I think she's heading back to NYC. Yeah, that's I think it. if mm -hmm. she's smart, she comes back and she stops trying to live uptown. She moves downtown. She starts to uh, club uh, crawl again. Well, and she just becomes the crazy old cougar mm -hmm. hanging out with young black boys. Well, she and she's <laughs> probably going to hit the A-Rod stick, if you know what I mean. This is the beauty of her. She doesn't realize she's picked out the person that people hate the most on the team. <laughs> they are going to quickly become the most despised couple in New York. They probably are now, before they've even done anything yeah. about it. He, he saw her uh, concert of hers in Miami Thanksgiving night. How do you gonna... know so much about these people? Well, I like to keep tabs of the sports, and then A Rod falls that's into that what, category. Where, where A Rod, what concerts he goes to? <laughs> that's sports talk for you. It'll be fun to see her sitting with the other wives up there during the season. Are they going to blame his season on her like uh, they did with no. Tony Romo and uh, He's good Jessica with concerts. He, he plays better. When, when, when he got in trouble with that blonde in Canada or wherever. Yeah. He suddenly started fucking hitting the cover off the ball. He loves shit like this. Well, it's like we we talk about here. When you have bad stuff in your personal life, your work should improve. He brings it, yeah, he brings his game to the table. Not like a few of the people we have on this show. Uh, Opie hurts Earl's feelings by something. So Earl takes three weeks off of of keeping his head up at work. It was right. just like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Ron. He, I'm doing my best. He, I saw Mars say hi to Earl in a clear, uh, normal human Would tone. you say concise? Concise. Like, hello, Earl. Exactly. No response. The cold shoulder, a.k.a. the brush off. And Mars is like, what the fuck? There's something Mars has to understand. Earl hates Puerto Ricans. Was he talking to anybody on the phone the other night at the fucking party? Every time I saw him. He had a phone to his ear. Yeah, he puts the phone up to his ear here, and there's no one on the other You end. couldn't hear in the club if the person next yeah, to you was he's talking about like the this. phone. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? He's yeah. fucking Fred Flintstone. I'll buy that. And I'll he, buy that. He didn't uh, say, why wouldn't you say uh, good morning to, to Mars? First of all, I did say hello. I give the head nod, and then I said hello. <laughs> no, you head didn't. I'll, what did Mars have to say about head it? Head nod. Mars is like, what's, he goes, um, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? I say hi to him, and he doesn't say hi back. What, what, what the fuck's the matter with him? He was offended. Yeah. I do apologize on behalf of the Ron Fez show. I said, that's not, I said, that's not uh, the way Ron Bank and Fez Wally asks. Right. Acts. And I apologize. I always have uh, a nice uh, greeting and then a salutation. <laughs> Mars, I didn't understand you got the cold shoulder today from well, Earl Douglas. Yeah, I was asking uh, Dave about the etiquette, you know, just proper protocol, say good yeah. morning, hello. Sure. I, I Every time I, I look at Earl, say good morning, it's just like a blank stare, man. <laughs> Keeps going. Earl, why won't you just say nice good morning? It's mean. I say I say hello, I, or I get the head nod. Why would I, he I, lie then? Come on. Why but, would Mars lie? He does say hello after my second or third sarcastic <laughs> hello. <laughs> Yeah, you what is problem. your problem, Earl? No problem with anybody. Interact party. with human just, beings. You know, this is a social setting. I mean, I'm not the most talkative person to begin with. Hello? <laughs> you <laughs> are. <laughs> when you want to fucking be. And you're when in. you want to be, you're the chattiest uh, bitch uh, at the fucking prom. Not to mention he's in radio and executive producer. He's the guy who has to be talking. For fuck's sake. Lord knows the way he talks to people on my behalf. I would cringe... At the fucking thought. I saw him bring in somebody. We were doing an interview, 
and he brought him in. It reminded me of a dental hygienist, where he just put him in and put him in the chair, and it looked so cold and impersonal <laughs> that the, by the time I came in, I said hello, and the and the director said to me, "I hate this interview." I go, "Don't <laughs> fucking blame him on me." Yeah, I heard him um, talk to that guy before the interview, and he yeah. was like, "Don't look." Round in the eye. Don't say that, Earl. Oh, my God. Don't breathe in Ron's direction. Earl, now what are you upset about in there? You've stopped paying attention to the show. No, E-Rock was, like, he's, like, throwing something at me like I didn't say hello to him, and I know he was lying. All right, come on over, E-Rock. Come on here. Hi, E-Rock. I see a fight in the other room. <laughs> what happens, E-Rock? Um, Earl froze up today, too, when we said hi to him. Uh, we were standing outside the studio. Uh-huh. Uh, Ope was next to me talking to some guys from Sirius. Earl comes in with his headphones. I go, hey, Earl. And he just kind of looks up and then kept walking like nobody said anything to him. Now, I know you're, I know you're lying. That's, what, that's why they treat the new serious suits, too, Earl. I know lying. you're I know, I know he is lying because I went like this. I went, I grabbed Opie by the shoulder like this. I said, excuse me, Opie, and good morning. Oh, <laughs> God. Jeez, I don't by believe way, that. Earl, I didn't want to run him Earl. over. E Rock lies, Opie. Mars <laughs> lies. What's in it for them? Dave lies. <laughs> Opie lies. <laughs> Opie's a very cordial person. He would Fred, never could do you that. do this for me? Could you put on a costume and hide and lurk in here every day? <laughs> put on fake nose and glasses? I, you know, just by saying that, I, hey, listen, I'm not one to not light a fuse. What can I do? Uh, I, I'll bring it up later, and they'll go, well, the only other person there was a Chinese woman. How did uh, they know? <laughs> Earl, this is the problem with you. People are not connecting with you anymore. I don't know why. I mean... You ask me a question, I'll answer. You're a it. psycho. I'm not a psycho. It's yeah. just come in, looking like I want to be here, and interact with other people. I do interact with you. I say hello. You, what? They're all fucking telling you. Here is the reason why I know you're not fucking paying attention. You're getting feedback from coworkers, right? And you're saying it's false, rather than going, "Is there some truth to this?" No, I don't know what else to, to do. I mean, like, I'm say, telling say you, hello, and interact say hello, with people. And then it's still not enough. You act like we're in your home. You act like we're guests of your fucking wives that have overstayed our welcome here in your apartment. Yeah, no, it's far from it. I mean, I, everyone's like, You're I hearing it. You're fucking getting the feedback. You're still refusing it. And I'm not refusing. I'm actually. I'm. I thought I was doing it. I said mm. hello. And I, it said hello. No. How are you? So you're never, hearing never. it from Dave. Why can't you say? Wait. I had a disagreement with Dave, and now two other coworkers have come running in here and saying the exact same thing, and you're still saying it's not true. Matter of fact, going so far as to call them liars. I've never. He's never said how are you ever, and he's never said hello. Ever in the history of knowing Earl Douglas. Say hello to you this morning, Dave. You weren't even paying attention he to me. Didn't. I was I believe doing you did. So, thank you, Ron. I'm very truthful. I was working on something and um, Earl didn't get here by the way till eleven thirteen. <laughs> but that's besides Another the point. lie. That is a flat out lie. Everything. What time were you here then, Earl? Because uh, I want I want this I was for here the record. straight up eleven o'clock. <laughs> and I was I I'll acknowledge that, like I was running late. What time was, was he here, Hicks? He was here eleven ten. Yesterday eleven fifteen. I'm gonna lock him out of the fucking office if he comes here after fucking eleven tomorrow. He was, he's here very Earl, late. He knows we're yes. shorthanded. Why does everybody say that you're lying? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what they have against me or whatever Be it is. I come on in here, and I'm going to explain to you what they have against you. Maybe oh, it's because Earl is the liar. I'm just going to throw that out there. Just like the person. It's an interesting I, theory. Can you. I come to Earl's defense and say that maybe he's more like an autistic person? That he's so deep inside his own fucking world that he doesn't know what's happening about him. Have you ever been tested for autism, Earl? No. I, I mean, I've... if I when if I threw a bunch of toothpicks down, would you be able to count them immediately? Because you <laughs> might be autistic. Not a count. Yes. One hundred and forty-six right. round. I mean, but that is just outright not true. I mean, I I made it a point to say hello to Dave this morning. When Earl, I walk in, I say, Earl, Earl. why are the guys from the O and A show? Always so happy to see Dave and have zero fucking connection with you. They, uh, zero. They always say hello to me. I'm like, Travis, he said, hey, good morning. I was like, hey, how are you doing? I, I mean, I know that for a fact this morning with Obi, I had to I had to get through them. Who was he talking to? Who were the serious suits? I don't know. 
I See, now this is a fucking interesting thing. You are the executive fucking <laughs> producer of the Rod and Fed show, right? Yes. There are suits in this building from the company that we uh, now are part of that we merged with. And you don't know who they are. <laughs> Have you ever watched Entourage? Yes. Does that little fucking Chinese guy know who everybody in the business is? Yes. Lloyd knows who everyone is. Yeah. Does Ari know who everybody is? Yes. You're kind of in their position. You should know who everybody is. That should be part of your fucking work. Yeah. In that particular situation, I didn't want every, to be... Uh, no, every situation. I, I mean, I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. I just said, excuse me. You're missing me. my point. And I, and I, but my I point is this. Point to, the, to fact, the, the fact that you don't even know who they are means that you don't want to fucking be part of the fucking larger company. I absolutely, I want to be part of the larger company. Without question, I want to be part of it. Actually, you ever just drop in on those guys? No, I haven't done it yet. We've been with them how long now? Months? Um, couple of months, yes. And you haven't dropped by, and it's how many blocks away? Uh, it's about 10 blocks away. That would, so, that would require him saying hello. Right. And that's very difficult. He calls that the H word. He goes, but I, do, he, I, I can't say, say it You just wrong. got it from Dave. And I made it a You just got it from it. Dave. H-E double hockey sticks with an O on the end. I can't oh, say it. stands for orgasm. <laughs> and he refuses to have one. Because you said you need all that. And people know we're all lies. That he'll just cover He's his ass. Liar. Yeah. Liar. How was he at the party the other night? Was he interacting? Uh, no. Me no. Nothing fast? No. Not at all? No, I gotta go no. with Fred, a uh, foam boy. Yeah. Um, he was interacting. I saw him interact with his ginger ale cup. Who were you on the phone with? I wasn't on the phone. First of all, I was getting text messages from my from from monks because she was at another party, and I'm texting her back. I can't come. To, I'm at another party. <laughs> Why don't you just turn that fucking thing off? It's 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 fun time with the with the phone. I didn't see one other person on the phone. Mm mm. But what? I mean, it was a text. I answered the text. I left. And then I resumed the party. And so all Fred happened to catch you. That one fucking moment when you texted. Yes. And I, I isn't, that stunning? isn't that stunning that the party was five hours long, but Fred only sees you for the one single second that he, you were texting? He's mastered that unmasked thing where he finds a dark corner in his dark clothing. Oh, and he's yeah. Oh, that's true. And he's dancing. You don't do spot it unmasked. He's Why? Weird. It's under the fucking exit sign. But it's at oh. the party, too. He found a dark corner and he stayed there. He's I always think to myself that unmasked. If this place catches on fire, I know where Earl is, <laughs> and I'll get out the fucking door. He does do <laughs> one thing like... at Unmask. He does this. Because <laughs> he falls asleep. Remember not... that one time? That's fucking well, Delta. First, no, 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 I first of all, I don't even sit at Unmask. I stand at Unmask. He does. He stands under the fucking <laughs> I stand. Side. I make it a point to stand. You were caught unmask. by HTG falling asleep that was, one at Unmask. One time I was sitting. I mean, she accused me and Pitsy. You've yet to acknowledge crazy. one problem. You've been I, defensive against every accusation. Acknowledge he, one. It's here's a, one person that we can all uh, believe is honest, and that's Millie Hatchet. Let's yeah. face it. She doesn't work here. She doesn't have a dog in the fight. She doesn't fucking have one. She's not going to pick Dave or Earl. What no. does she care? She writes to me. Bullshit. Earl had the phone up to his ear, not texting. Oh my God, what a shock. Earl is lying. Now, why Ooh. Why would she lie? And why do you look at his phone? Or because, can you text you know, with your he ear? Was, you he was talking to you. I could show Talk to Ron. No, I'm talking to you. He's I'm talking here. to you. We here. When Ron we talks here. to you, you talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> you're asking a question. I talk to Ron. But Jeff, he's still looking at me. Because you're yelling at me. Talk to Ron. Freaking idiot. Talk That's Ron over there. You use your phone as a tool to avoid uh, That's right. Interaction. That's a wall. You use That's a wall for you. Now he's looking at Fred. That's a wall. And I think a sexual tool is that well. He's a still what? A sexual tool as well. <laughs> Why? What is he doing? He's fucking a phone? He sets it to vibrate and then bad things happen. Hell. What bad could happen? <laughs> Here's uh, uh, Tony on Run Fez. Hey, you know what, Earl? I, I listened to the show way back in NEW days, and it's the same thing. Without a doubt, you have such skill and experience in True. the industry, but be an executive producer and stop making things greater than what they are and just make it great with your own position and you will excel Stop putting here, here, here's the real deal here this isn't even anything that you've done wrong okay this is not like you even fucking up your job we are telling you you're cut off from society and the society that you've chosen to be part of I, I don't 
And I don't see it that way. Right, then at who's all. your best friend at work? My best friend, of, I would probably say you. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. All right, who's your second best friend? A second best friend? Um, honestly, I would probably say X. <laughs> <laughs> That's even you. sadder. He hates you. <laughs> All right, your third best friend. Fess. <laughs> I'm so down. I'm so down the list. I've never been so glad to come in third in my life. Turd, he says. Oh. He says you're his turd best friend. Where am I? Uh, here's uh, her. <laughs> here's our uh, good buddy, uh, the elderly Jersey Rich. Uh, Rich. Elderly Jersey. Well, you know, the hey, years Rich. are passing you by, Bal. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time on Saturday night, but I just wanted to point out that I took a picture. Uh, I was walking around taking pictures all night, and I just happened to see Earl off by himself, off to the side. And I went up and took a picture of him, and he put up in front of his face. <laughs> like, 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 he's some, some kind of celebrity. He doesn't want to be. He didn't want to get caught at the Why party. Why don't you want your picture taken <laughs> at the Christmas bash? Because it was just such a. Face. I think I gave the, such a, the, the link to Nick if you can put it up. I want you all you guys to laugh at the picture. Such a what? All right. Um, <laughs> who'd you send it to? Uh, I think oh, whoever answered the phone. I think it was Hicks, but he he uh, he was looking through the gallery. It's up on RonFez.net. All right, let's it's, it's, uh, yeah. My pictures. All right, we'll uh, we'll go and find that. Thanks, Rich, and happy All birthday, right, no buddy. Problem, all right, thanks, it's so beyond a job with him, though. It's your career. It's your life. I mean, it's representative yeah. of everything, and it's. I, I don't understand it. Here, I, I, I mean, and you sell for a living, Fred. Man. How can there be suits in this business that, let's say he's not even interacting, he doesn't know who they are? I have no idea. When That's he impossible. said that, I, I was speechless. I, I, I don't even know what to say, man. That's your number one job, bro. Yes, but at that per that particular moment, I was just walking. I was walking into the building. Then You're ask missing somebody. my point. And ask somebody. Who find are the out. Suits? Find That's out. That's all you have to know. It's your future boss. It's the people you're gonna have to answer to. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! He's doing it. He's got the phone in his ear. The phone is in his ear. There's the photo oh evidence god. from Jersey Rich. <laughs> that proves. And now this is the thing, Earl. This is why I think that oh, you lie. Shit. There. Wh who are you talking to, and why are you hiding your face? Oh my god! <laughs> like, like we're not gonna know it's him. That's the best part. First of all, I can remember what happened. I did get a phone call. All right, <laughs> why don't they? Just came to me. No, it didn't. You got fucking caught. Uh, I, 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 I didn't name the person who called me. I'm sure you can name all of them, but no, Jesus. there is zero reason, right? For any of us to believe anything that you say. As the story falls apart, just tell me this, Earl. Oh my God. Where's the little missing Florida girl? <laughs> just came to him. <laughs> that picture's but great. I, I, I remember who called me. It at doesn't matter to us. It's a moment. lie. He's got I the phone. I know one thing. It was nobody from Sirius. <laughs> I know That's it wasn't from anyone from Sirius. When's the last time you gave Jeremy a call? When's the last time you called Steve Bladder? See, you do not interact with... With your actual bosses. These are your bosses. <laughs> and their bosses you don't even know. <laughs> now he's going back to the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking to him? What are you talking to him? He's talking to you. He's talking to you. Just give me a Take his phone. Give him the phone. Give him the phone. Give him the phone. Somebody call me with the answers now. Get the phone. Oh, they're fighting. Uh -oh. Text me uh -oh. a lifeline. You are not permitted to have a phone at work anymore. It's keeping you from your that job. It's keeping me from my job. It's... You're using it as a crutch. I'm not using it as a it's crutch. A, it's just red. <laughs> Every it's time your boss just confronts just you, you grab your phone. I understand that. And I always tell people, <laughs> do not call me between noon and right. Turn it off. Give me the phone. 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 It's for your own good, Earl. Give me a phone. Now, Rod, I'm going to tell you what. Listen, what? I'm going to tell you why he won't give that phone. <laughs> why? why? He's got text messages and shit with more women he's stalking. 
Hey, he knows if he I gives know. me that phone, I'll look into it, which I will, because I'm a Snoopy bastard. But still, Earl, <laughs> you have to give up your phone. No, I'm giving up my phone. And did you also notice how he started picking up the the markers, just like yes. the uh, autism freak that he is? <laughs> He's autistic. <laughs> He's autistic. <laughs> They were in the way. I picked up. <laughs> this studio was gigantic. It's Yesterday, he is the executive producer of the Ron and Fez show. And yesterday, his main thing was going out and getting pizza for a little girl. <laughs> Leaving the fucking building during the show. And he was so happy to do it. What you want to be, Earl, is an intern. You don't want to be part of this. Uh, here's uh, our buddy Pat from Belmore. Pat. <laughs> and uh, at, the, at the party, I walked up to Earl, said, Happy Holidays, Earl. And he continued to look down and leaned over and said, Happy Holidays. And then went back to looking at his phone. Stop with the phone. And did the same thing when I left, when I said goodbye. That should be the picture for the cover of your Christmas cards, man. That everything in one photo, right there. I know. In a corner with the phone in the dark with his hand over. He's his not head. sending cards this year. He's just calling. Why are you afraid to get your picture taken? What? What are you a fucking in a mob trial? I took pictures. Put a with, coat over your head I, when you go out. I took <laughs> pictures with everyone. Everyone asked me for a picture. I took one. I'm looking at the <laughs> picture of you right there. Why did you hide your face? I, it from was Jersey a Ridge? bad. For me, it was a bad joke. Because I was taking oh. pictures with oh, him. No, it wasn't. Oh, it, it, oh my God. He bad. lies. Bad. It, it lies. wasn't a bad joke. Because he lies. Give that phone up. <laughs> give me the give phone. The Seriously. Phone. You should yeah, hand you over your phone. phone. You really should. Come you on. Give bro. me the phone. Prove no. that you want to be part of society. Be part and of hand society. That phone and, and, and hand that phone over. Hand me the phone. I gave Pepper my phone. That's what I do every day. That's exactly how fifty nine. I hand pepper my phone. Hand pepper your phone. Hand pepper my. Hand pepper your phone. If you don't trust me, give it to phone. Give it to Pepper. If you don't trust me, give it to Pepper. Give it to Ron. You trust him. You said he's he's your best friend. I understand, but no. You know what, Dave? I I don't fucking pick on you. Why are you gonna drag me in? I've never said a mean thing to you. But uh, listen, that hand is not in the joking way, which would be the opposite way. His palm would be facing the camera lens. This right. is clearly a person who's trying to hide what his you, face. Yeah, clearly, you didn't understand the bad joke. I, I just said it if it was a bad joke, Earl, your palm would be facing the camera. The bad joke now is that you are afraid to hand your phone over. I don't want to hand my phone over. Hand it over for five minutes. No. Give it to Fez. Give it to someone, but hand it Earl, over. Listen, this is me, your best friend. <laughs> All right. Hey, Earl. It's RB. Okay? Yes. Oh, I'm I guess your best friend. That's why I send you uh, music every morning to wake up to. I send you a nice little song to wake you up in a good mood. All right? It's RB. Give me your phone. Give RB your phone. Give it, give it to on. Mr. BFF. Come on. Right in the hat. Give Mr. Come BFF on. your phone. Right Come in the on. hat. <laughs> Come on. Give me your phone. Ron, you know I love you, but I can't do it. Ooh. I can't do it. That's horrible. Then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Seriously. I, I mean, give me a fucking break. You don't look are, at me like that. These people that <laughs> you don't fucking know in the business, you're going to have meetings with them. Because this isn't working, Earl. And he's going to introduce himself at the beginning of the meeting. Well, I know these phone calls aren't working. I heard Earl making a phone call today, and it's really embarrassing. He puts on some sort of crazy fake voice when he talks to people. Hello, is Gretchen there? <laughs> oh, this is Gretchen. Yeah. It is the craziest. I don't know whether he's trying to be an English lord or what. Hey, and it's a, he has a combination of baby talk with him. He can't That's talk like a is. man. He goes like, hi, um, Ron and Feather on XM202 and Sirius 197. You ever hear a man show his phone? Sounds like this. <laughs> this is Earl Douglas Peasold. <laughs> Do, 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 Earl, is that you saying? Do, 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 nope. Do, 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 do. Earl, give RB your phone. Give the Five phone. minutes. I'm, I'm sorry. Give Ronnie your this phone. This is going to be a matter of trust. I, I, I understand it, but Then I you're going to have a meeting with Jeremy Coleman today. And explain him why I can't have you present during the show. You know, what would you rather have? You want me to have the phone for five minutes? Or do we have the Jeremy meeting? That'll last longer than five. <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> See? You hear that? This is, yes, that's what I don't want. What? I don't want you. 
getting fucking personal calls and I, during the show. Give me the phone. Everybody, you're very frazzled. Thank you. Yes! Now, Wait Dave? Give it up. Yes, sir? Give me the ball peen hammer. I'm gonna break this fucking <laughs> phone. No balls. No, put it down. All right. My best friend gave me this as a sign of trust. <laughs> there you now, go. the trust was uh, <laughs> that uh, he would have to have a meeting with somebody that could help his career. Right, That's yeah. the only thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that got him out of meeting someone face to face. <laughs> right. Somebody that he should be talking to almost daily. <laughs> I'm so tense. And, and this Dave, all you, you're the last person to and talk. You avoid responsibility like the plague. And Jeremy makes me tense around. He has the responsibility. He's so over intimidating, there. rolling all 140 pounds of him. Uh, Eric, Eric, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah. Earl, you wouldn't even have that job if it wasn't for Opie, and he wasn't in your top three best friends. <laughs> oh, shit. It's true. Well, he put X. <laughs> and you used to have fun. Here's what, here's what he did. He had dinner with Opie every Tuesday until he got the job, and then Opie can't even get a hello out of him now. Yeah. Every Tuesday going, you know, because he knew that they were packing his stuff up over at CBS. Opie got him in here with me, and it was the smartest thing. Opie's thing was great. It was like, um, as soon as, uh, you know, we got hired here, I get a call that night from Ope, and he goes, hey, so great. And he goes, by the way, is there any way at all you could take Earl? He goes, you know, he's really, uh, he goes, I'm, you know, it's up to you, which was so fucking smart to say it's up to you. Because now I can't l literally go, you made me take him. <laughs> but it was like all the excitement of, hey, we got the golden ticket. And by the way, can you take Earl? <laughs> and it was beautiful <laughs> beautiful fucking prank he did I give him all the credit in the world I don't see it as a prank and I I, I I could thank you and Opie forever you guys gave me a shot but and you're running with it <laughs> 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 now I have my phone friends back. lurking in the studio <laughs> today <laughs> friends from Brooklyn thank you. is that who that is <laughs> Yes. Under the sombrero and Mexican blanket? That is Fred from Brooklyn. So it's not pre Pedro? No. So uh, you 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 uh, are like security right now for Marissa? No. You'll follow her no, in? I got a text. I got a text saying Marissa's yelling at Crazed. And if I would have went in I'll there. I'll get different from any other day. Well, <laughs> this particular one sounded juicy and I just jumped in there. Holy what? shit, Fezzy. I didn't even notice there's snowing outside. Look at that. Oh, the big flakes, too. That's the good stuff. If that doesn't give you the Christmas. Look, girl, it's a Christmas miracle. That's the cleansing snow of you giving away your phone. I'm surprised it's not raining fucking frogs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, sing your favorite Christmas carol. Oh, come all ye lazy. <laughs> you know what? He's Maybe. too tired to sing that.